So this is my small uh, Wii remote on PC project. I have connected it up uh, through Bluetooth and it works on PC. I can use this to control mouse or do pretty much anything I want. And I thought it's uh, time to check into the track bar so I can do head tracking and aim on the screen using this uh, infrared sensor in here. So I decided to open it, but this is completely ridiculous. These are not normal screws, as you can see. They are some uh, weird freeway screws. You know how well you can see it from this camera. Uh, trying to focus it. See? These are some extremely weird screws. <laughs> this is so weird. But if I'm correct, it has nothing more than that. Uh, infrared LEDs, so it's nothing more really, but um, <laughs> these screws, they're ridiculous. <laughs> they have probably put them in there so people can't open it and see that uh, there is nothing to it, actually. And I'm trying to find this um, connector for it uh, that plugs into the V, then into the console, that's the connector. I can't really tell, but uh, as far as I can tell from here, if we focus it, there seem to be only two connectors in there. Maybe the outside is third, I don't really know, it's hard to tell. Maybe it's better on the bigger video. But uh, I don't think there's any data going through this. So I was doing some research on this and uh, I actually pulled this cap off this this uh, glass for the infrared sensors and these seem to be just the uh, infrared lights and I did some research and indeed there is absolutely no data going through this device so all these is just the infrared lights you can power it from batteries anything it doesn't have to communicate with a remote at all the way it works this here is the actual sensor and how it communicates is that simply this reads the infrared sensors not the sensors, they are actually not sensing anything, they are just infrared lights LED infrared lights just like in the remote controls, like this one so uh, basically if I would put this in there and if it's on a certain uh, range, if it's constantly on, something like that and if you have it the same power as this then it doesn't matter absolutely what you're using so. but uh, I did some research and it seemed to be that this is the older version which is 7.5 volts and I have an adapter in here it's some uh, old Motorola which is also 7.5 volts so uh, I'm gonna actually connect it up I have already uh, cut this off it has just two wires in here and that's about it so there is no data just as I thought I just wanted to find it out on my own and these are the wires these white ones are not the wires this is just string to um, make the wires just stronger if you pull then it doesn't break so that's why the strings it's quite a strong string this fiber one I don't even know what it's called but uh, anyway the wires, one of them is like golden and the other one is red. Red is uh, plus and the golden one should be minus. At least this is um, what I find out. I don't have the V console so I can't actually measure the voltage and see which one is plus, which one is minus. So I have to rely on uh, Google. So uh, I found like three sources and they all say it's 7.5 volts and the red one is plus. So. Uh, I'm counting on that and I'm going to just connect it up and see if uh, it actually works I mean it should work and I came back to this because uh, this stupid wire is literally stupid I mean look at this wire why so complicated why these strings okay I know they strengthen the cable the wire but you don't need that crap in there I mean none of the other cables have this strengthened stuff in there like look at this, that's a uh, light cable. This is just a simple um, protection cable on top. 
this coating, plastic, and wire inside. That's it. But look at their crap. Strings and stuff. And this wire is almost impossible to clean because it just uh, breaks into bits. So um, if you're having the same issue, I'm going to show you a trick what you can do with this to clean it without actually uh, breaking the wire. So um, just try to put the camera in here somehow. Having some issues. Um, let the camera normally. Okay. And you're looking at the solution actually. What you do is uh, simple. You just burn the thing. And there we go. And then you just clean it a little bit with your fingernail. Uh, a bit more maybe. And you have clean cable. Wire, sorry. See? That's cleaned. And this is how you clean this kind of uh, wires. Because trying to like uh, use some uh, wire strippers or scissors or something, you just end up breaking the wire. So use a lighter. Right, so I have connected this up, the sensor bar on top of the monitor. And as you can see, actually, the LEDs in the camera uh, light up. You can't see them with bare eye, but in camera you can see them clearly. And it works perfectly, I have to say. Yeah, look at that. You can see them on camera. I can't see anything with bare eye, absolutely nothing. So, And this script in here will run it. And here's the remote. And that's how it works. See? Uh, I don't know how close I can go with this, where you can see the mouse. Uh, I lost the track of mouse. Uh, <laughs> shit. Can't really see the mouse at the moment because I was looking at the camera. If I can see the pointer. It's on the left side, on the recycle bin. And as you can see, I'll just put the camera back a little bit. I have to turn the light off, I can't see shit. Okay, and here's the... Uh, without the light. Let it um, settle down. And here we go. It's all white, I have to... Oh crap, I can't close them actually. But... Uh, where is the mouse? I can't see it. Where's the mouse? And the other monitor. This is so so hard to find it. And looking in the camera, that's that's actually what makes it harder. So um, the mouse is there on the right side. See, and I'm moving it, and the mouse is moving. So you can clearly see it now. Going a little bit left and up uh, between the windows. Nope. Very hard controlling it like this, uh, holding the camera. I don't know why the camera picks it up so easily. This is not an infrared camera, this is just normal camera. But as you can see, it picks up the infrared so well. And as I showed you before, this glass bit in here, I will show you in a second. The other one I have right in here. And if I put it like in front of the monitor, you can't see absolutely anything through that, see? You put it in front of the camera and it's completely black but infrared comes through that so easily so that's why they put these uh, protective glasses in there so it looks like it's uh, dark but actually it's not so it lets the infrared light through and I can demonstrate it on the keyboard as you can see I can cover the lights with it and you can see nothing through it absolutely nothing but the infrared comes through so if you have a camera, then uh, this is a good way of testing if your infrared uh, is actually working. So take the camera, just put it close to the infrared and you'll see the light. But again, if you have the version with just three LEDs on each side, not five, then you can use a normal USB power. I have the information in my uh, knowledge database, how to connect it to a USB. So check it in there and more information in the description as usual.